Hello, my name is Andy and I am the village idiot and I'm on with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to North Lincolnshire and we're right on the border here with not just South Yorkshire but also with Nottinghamshire as well. This one is one of the furthest uh, parishes to the west in North Lincolnshire. In fact, I think without having the map in front of me, I think it is the furthest west and it's a very small one and it's linear as well which is a little bit annoying you know i don't like those it's uh, a case of walk one way and then walk back the other it's going to be tough on the legs because it's quite a long way from one end to the other but i'm up for the challenge as always welcome to the parish of root Root is a linear village and civil parish in North Lincolnshire, sitting south of the River Torn on the Isle of Axome, close to the boundary with South Yorkshire. Indeed, Root is one of the eight original parishes in the Isle of Axome. The population at the 2011 census was 455. In 1157, Root was known as Roth. The name Root is derived from rot, the old English word for snout, probably in reference to a spur of land. Root is the westernmost parish in Lincolnshire, about 5 miles west of Epworth and 10 miles northwest of Gainsborough, where the three ancient counties of Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire all meet. The old bed of the River Torn formed part of the north and western parish boundary. Haxie Parish lies to the southeast, and Root covers about 3,250 acres of flat moorland. The village school seen here is the Root Travis Charity Church of England Primary School. In 2011, Ofsted rated this as Grade 2 good. So we've got the current schoolhouse there, right next door to the old schoolhouse, which is here. How about that? The school was built in 1879 on the site of a former free school. It was founded and endowed in 1706 by Henry Travis, who also did the same thing in Hatfield and Thorn. We're approaching the southernmost part of the main village here, where we come across this iron beacon, and our next major stop is the church. The parish church of St Pancras was rebuilt in 1784 and again in 1879 on the site of an earlier church, and it holds a hundred people. The church here has a long and interesting history. Tradition has it that the church was burned down along with the rest of the village during the Black Death Plague in 1348. The new village was built to the north, but the church was rebuilt in the same location as before. This is why the church is so far out of the main village to the south. Perhaps one of the most interesting things about St Pancras comes in the form of something you'll find near the gates. So normally when you hear the name St Pancras, I don't know about you, but I always think of London and uh, St Pancras Station. But that's the name, that's the uh, dedication of the church here in Roots. Now, there's something else to show you here. Look at this. Remember, John Wesley. Now all those Methodist chapels that we've seen around the country, this guy here, John Wesley, was the founder of Methodism, who served as curate at, in the parish of Root during the years. I can't really read this. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna find uh, some more information about uh, jo uh, John Wesley uh, when I uh, stitch this one together, but I can't really read this. It's very worn. I uh, believe though John Wesley came from Epworth, uh, but obviously that's not far away from here. In fact, it borders route to the. Uh, in fact, does it border? Yeah, it does border route. Yeah, thinking about it. So yeah, uh, we might learn a bit more about him in Epworth, but uh, yeah, John Wesley was curate here in route. Now we're walking through the centre of the village. We're four miles away from the Doncaster parish of Blackston and three from West Woodside, a village within Haxie's boundaries. An omnibus used to link the village to Doncaster Market weekly. The only bus service route currently has terminates in Blackston, 
where you can pick up onward services. Here's the parish notice board. Mark it off guys, it's another one down in North Lincolnshire. This is just outside the village hall. Root Village Hall is much more than a standard village hall. In fact, it's a multi-award winning music venue known as Root Rocks. That was about the best I could do with the village hall here, to be honest with you, because there's obviously some kind of event going on. There's a queue of people outside. So I don't really want to encroach on whatever they're doing. That's the village hall. As we head to the north, we pass a sign for a weak bridge. That's a bridge over the River Torn, which still runs to the north and west of the village. The Cross Keys pub was built in 1909. One of the rooms here displays posters from past performances of the village pantomime, and it's also home to a local football team. It's a drinker's pub, but meals are available on two days of the week. This building is the post office and I believe also a local shop, although from what I can gather, it only opens two days a week between 9am and 11am. Now to head up a footpath which I discovered. At the time I didn't know where this would take me, but an educated guest told me it might end up at the other end of the village. The footpath was to take me around the back of the high street and out into the fields beyond, and all being well, it would turn this linear walk into a circular venture. So it looks like my prayers have been answered. Looks like I can walk around route in a circle thanks to this footpath. The sign said footpath to West End. Now I'm not sure how far up to the West End of the village this footpath will lead me, but uh, hopefully it's gonna be close to the end. It doesn't matter anyway, because whichever part of the village it brings me out in, I will uh, record the rest of it via the dashboard because uh, you may have noticed a couple of shots ago uh, a sign saying weak bridge. Um, I need to catch that bridge because it goes over uh, a stretch of water and then I'll keep the camera rolling because if you remember in the Bassett Law series in the uh, Missen episode or should I say Mizen episode because I did get a couple of comments saying it's pronounced Mizen apparently. Um, at the very end of the video I was at the very top of Nottinghamshire because over there is where North Lincolnshire meets Nottinghamshire and then in less than a mile Nottinghamshire turns into South Yorkshire and uh, there's uh, one tiny little part of Mizzen if you remember that uh, is part of Nottinghamshire, uh, not, not Lincolnshire or South Yorkshire and it's kind of weird <laughs> um, if you can remember that but I'll um, if you can't remember it don't worry because I'll have the camera rolling at the end so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. One of the principal landowners of Root historically was the Hatfield Chase Corporation. There were as many as 18 farmers working at one time in the village on this very land. The chief crops grown were wheat and potatoes. Root also had a wheelwright, a shopkeeper, a blacksmith, a shoemaker, a grocer and a collector of rates. The grocer was also a provision and tea dealer and confectioner. It's still very agricultural, although perhaps not to the extent it once was. Root's peacefulness and out of the way feel means now it's quite the desirable place to live if you want to escape the more urban lifestyle. And certainly if you like a good countryside walk of the ilk that these footpaths offer you, why would you say no to that? This particular footpath did indeed take me where I wanted to go. Yes, it's brought me right to the end of the village because you can see the national speed limit sign over there. There we go, it's brought me all the way to the other end of the village, which means all I've got to do now is walk back along the road and catch whatever I can see along here on the way. To finish our main walk, we head back down the high street. This is generally residential, although there are some interesting features along here. In 1826, houses in route numbered no more than 54, with a population of 285. But by 1885, Kelly's directory recorded a population of 356 in a parish area of 3,246 acres. Modern day route sees a population numbering 455, as we discussed before, and 99.6% of the residents here are white British, and the modern parish covers 14.53 square kilometers. This gives it a population density of 31.65, and the average house here goes on the market for a pretty pricey £310,000. Root used to have both a primitive Methodist chapel and a Wesleyan chapel. Seen here is the latter, which dates from 1870. Earlier at the church, I was spot on about John Wesley. He was indeed Epworth born, and the Wesleys had much to do with Root. 
1726, Samuel Wesley, father of John Wesley, became rector here at Root, occasionally living here. It's interesting to note the Wesleys are known to have described Root and the surrounding area as little better than a swamp. Root's War Memorial is an obelisk surmounted by a double plinth and column. There's an inscription in black lettering on the front face of the plinth, and it was supplied by Sissons and Son of Epworth. To end, we're almost back at the Cross Keys here, outside Rye House at the Granary, a self-catering holiday cottage conversion of a former granary. Okay, I'm all the way around the village because I'm back at the path where I uh, ventured around the back of the village to then come back this way towards the Cross Keys pub, which means you guys now need a picture bit. And here it comes. Okay, all that's left for me to do is to plop this camera on the dashboard and drive through uh, through route. I'll, I'll drive the whole way through uh, over the bridge that I was talking about and then down across the border into Nottinghamshire and then across the other border into South Yorkshire. And you'll see uh, just how much uh, of Nottinghamshire there is on that road. It's a very, very tiny piece of Nottinghamshire. Uh, but that's it otherwise that's it for the parish of Root and another one down in North Lincolnshire now the next one you'll see in North Lincolnshire is a very very special one and it's something that I've been building towards for a very very long time in fact my plans for the last couple of months have revolved around this one parish in North Lincolnshire and it's finally time to show you it. At least that was the plan. Skip to the end of the video to find out why it's no longer relevant. And I'm out. Okay, so we've now crossed the border 
from North Lincolnshire into South Yorkshire. We're in Doncaster, we're in the parish of Blackston. And at the end of this road, I'm gonna take a left turn and we'll cross then into the parish of Mizzen, into Nottinghamshire, and then back into North Lincolnshire, all within the space of a mile. So here we go. Okay, so here we are. We're about to leave South Yorkshire and enter Nottinghamshire. You may remember this part of the Mizzen video. This is where I stood at the very end of the Mizzen video. COVID has visited yet again and it's cancelled the Haxi Hood. It's the sort of thing you guys want to see. It's, it's, it's something special. But because it's now not going ahead, obviously I won't be going to Haxi. And I won't be going to Haxi until the very end of North Lincolnshire now because I have to wait until 2023, unfortunately. If you'd worked out what it was, it's not happening now this year. Um, but hopefully it will happen next year and I will definitely, definitely be going next year if it's on because. There ain't no Haxi episode without the hood.